Hi you guys, this is section 3.4 which is ratios and proportions, but it also includes unit analysis and that's a tough um, section. So I'm going to break 3.4 into two parts. Part one will be ratios, unit rate, and unit analysis. And then part two will be proportions. So it'll be a separate video, but you still need to watch both. But I broke it up so it's not too overwhelming. Okay, so part one, a ratio is when you divide or compare any two numbers. So you can go 2 over 3 or 2 to 3 like how we did for the odds. And whenever you're dividing it, so 2 divided by 3, or another word for a ratio is fraction. It's pretty obvious, okay? So a ratio is one fraction by itself. You're going to see that a proportion is going to be a, ra a ratio equal to another ratio or a fraction equal to another fraction. Um, unit rate is when you want to find out how much it is for each one, so you make your denominator. So you find out the unit rate, how much, how much it is for each. So an example there. And I'm rolling this so I can make the numbers bigger. I know the last couple of videos were small. So I have a unit rate here. And I want to find out, is Capri Sun, Aloha Juice, or Coke, which one is the cheapest for each one? Okay, so Capri Sun comes in 10 packs for 280. Aloha, Aloha Juice, excuse me, is 6 packs for 210. And the Coke comes in a 12 pack for $3.60. So the way you want to do this is you go $2.80 over 10. It's for 10. So you don't, you want to divide by 10. So this one you can actually, if you wanted to change it to cents, like 280 cents over 10, and then you can divide, sorry, divide by 10, and you can see that it's 28 cents each. Okay, Aloha Juice is $2.10 for six. So again, if you wanted to change it to cents, you can just make it as 210 cents. Then when you divide it by six, you're gonna get 35 cents each. And then for Cokes, it's $3.60 for 12, so you can change it to 360 for 12, and that's going to equal to 30 cents each. So what you're trying to do is just divide the top divided by the bottom, so $3.60 divided by 12, and just find out how much it is for each. So you can see that the Capri Sun is actually cheaper for each one. Okay, so that's unit rate. The next ones are going to be unit analysis. And you're going to see, um, I'm going to do a couple easy ones here and some harder ones. So the first one is changing one unit. And so what it will what say is change two miles per hour to feet per hour. And you can see the hour stays the same. So all you change is miles to feet. Okay, and here's how you're going to do it. And this is going to be really important for science as well. So you want to put two miles over one hour. So I'm putting this one here. Okay. And you want to use fractions that are straight lines, don't slash them, okay? And because I'm only going to make one change, I'm going to go like this. And this is going to be my change. Okay, I'm going to change this. So and the, I'm going to find, the final part goes here, it's feet per hour. Okay, now you can see the hour stays the same on the bottom, but I'm changing miles to feet. And so what I want to do is I want to put the new one on top here, or I'll use red so you can see. Sorry. I'll use red. You want the new one on the top and the old one on the bottom. Okay. And so what you want to do now is whichever one is bigger gets the one. So miles are bigger than the feet. So that gets the one. And then you fill in how many feet in one mile. And if you don't know, it's 5280. Okay, 5,280. And now what we do is we cross cancel. Because we're multiplying, here's our equal sign. It's like multiplying fractions. You can cross cancel the units. So the miles cancel out. And you can see I'm left with feet over hours, which is what I want. And now I just multiply the numbers. So when you do this across, 1 times 1 is just 1 hour. And then 2 times 5,280. You got a zero, six, five, and ten. So ten thousand five hundred sixty feet per hour. 
Okay. And then if you wanted to do this, what you can do is you slice it down there. So you just have the numbers and the units separate. And then you can rewrite it as 10,560 feet per hour. And now, with the unit parts, you can slash now in the final answer. Okay. So here's another example. I want to change 400 centimeters per hour to meters per hour. Okay. By, by the way, be careful. Miles per hour, they would write MPH. But when you, when you want to say miles, you have to actually say MI by itself. But if you're going miles per hour, you can go MPH. And this one, M per hour this way is meters per hour. Okay, so be careful with that. I wanted to show you guys that. So again, I write the first one, 400 centimeters over one hour. Okay, notice that. So that one went here. I'm going to have one change. So I'm going to multiply and have my one change. And I'm going to finish with meters per hour. You can see the new one is going to be here. I want meters here, okay? which means I want to put the centimeters on the bottom. The reason I put the centimeters on the bottom is so that I can cross cancel. Meters is bigger, so there's one meter, and there's 100 centimeters in the one meter. So now I can cross cancel my units and just deal with the numbers. So on top I have 400, and on the bottom I have 100. If you know how to cross cancel before you multiply, so you could actually go 400 over 100 like this and then simplify, or you could simplify before you multiply. And so what, what you could do is take out, a, take out 100 from top and bottom, take out two zeros from top and bottom, and you're left with 4 times 1, which is 4, over 1 times 1, which is 1. When you cancel that down, you're left with 4 meters per hour. Okay, so that's when you just have to change one unit. Changing two units is going to be the same thing, but you're going to have another change, so you're going to have to multiply three things. And so I'm going to do four different examples for you. That's why it's going to take a little longer, and I guarantee you're going to want to see these because it is kind of tough. Okay, so I'm going to change three miles per hour to feet per minute. So you can see I'm changing, my, I'm changing miles to feet, and I'm changing hours to minutes. So I need to do two changes. So I'm going to write this one here, the original, three miles over one hour. Then I need to do two changes. So I'm going to do one and two. And then I want to finish with feet over minute. Okay, if you notice, I deal with the units first, and then I put the numbers in after. Okay, so on the top, I want to go from miles to feet. So I'm going to put in the new unit on the top. I want the feet here. And I'm going to put the miles on the bottom. Okay. And then the miles is bigger than feet, so I'm going to put 1 here and 5280 here. And now on the bottom one, I want to go from hours to minutes. So I want the new one on the bottom again. And I'm going to put the old one on the top, the hours. One hour has 60 minutes in it. Okay. Now I deal with the units. I'm going to cross cancel my hours, and I'm also going to cross cancel my miles. Now, if you look across, I have feet and minutes for the units, which is what I want. I want feet over minutes. And now I can just deal with the numbers. Okay. So I can see that I have a zero here. So I'm going to take a zero out. And then I'm left with a three and a six here. So I can actually take this out and put a one and a two here. So I'm left with 528 over two. Okay. Now this is where I can cross it down. And I go 528 divided by two. And it's 264 feet. Oops, sorry. Feet per minute. Okay, so this is what your work should look like. You should have three, the original, two changes, and then the answer. Okay, here's another one. It goes six feet per minute to yards per second. So feet goes to yards on the top, minute goes to seconds on the bottom. So I start with the feet, six feet over one minute, and I need two changes. So there's my top change, there's my bottom change, and then I want to end up with yards per second. So on the top, I'm going from feet to yards. So I put yards on the top. On the bottom, I'm going from minutes to seconds. So I can put seconds on the bottom. 
I'm going to put the old one on top. So I'm going to put minutes here and feet here. And again, so before I put my numbers, you can see I can cross cancel this, and I can cross cancel this, and I'm left with yards over seconds, which is what I want. Now I can fill in numbers. So whichever one is bigger, one yard is bigger, and there's three feet in one yard. Minutes and second, minute is bigger, 60 seconds on the bottom. I can see that I have six here and 60 here, so that can become a one and a 10. And now on the top, I'm left with one, 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 so just one. And on the bottom, I'm left with three times 10, which is 30. And again, I just cross it down like that. One divided by 30 is 0, 0, I'm sorry, 0 0.033. And it's actually threes repeating yards per second. Okay, so there's two examples of two unit changes. I got two more because I know they're hard through the years. This is one of the hardest sections you're going to get. But again, it's super important for science, so I'm going to do some more. So here's some more ch two changes. Okay, so I'm going $3, to pound, $3 per pound to blank cents per ounce. So again, I start with $3 over one pound. I'm going to do two changes. And I'm going to do my final answer, and it's going to be cents per ounce. On the top, I'm going to change from dollars to cents. So I want cents on the top, dollars on the bottom. And then on the bottom, I want to go from pounds to ounce. So I want ounce on the bottom, and I want pounds on the top. Okay. That way I can cancel out pounds, and I can cancel out dollars, and I'm left with cents over ounce, which is what I want. Okay, now I fill in the bigger number with the one, so one dollar, and there's a hundred cents in one dollar. And then pounds to ounces, there's one pound is bigger because there's 16 ounces. Okay. Now I can look and I, there's nothing I can cancel down really easy. So if I come over here, I get 300 over 16. Divide that that way. So 300 divided by 16 is 18. 0.75 cents per ounce. Okay, so three dollars per pound comes out to 18.75 cents per ounce. Okay, and the last one here. So say your parents give you 50 cents a day for um, allowance. Okay, and we talked about this with Alani. Um, 50 cents a day. What we want to go is how many dollars per year is that? Well, that means we got to change twice because we're going to dollars per year. Notice I'm putting the dollars to the left. So you can see I'm going from cents to dollars on the top, day to year on the bottom. So on the top, I want to put the dollars here. On the bottom, I want to put the cents. And then on the bottom, I'm going from day to year. So I want the new one on the bottom. So year goes on the bottom, day goes on the top. So we can just use a D if we want for day. That cancels out, the cents cancels out, and now I'm left with dollars over years, which is what I want. Okay, I'm just circling them so you can see it easily. For dollars, that's bigger than cents. I'm gonna put one here and 100 cents on the bottom. And days and years, year is bigger, and there's 365 days in one year. So I have 50 times 1 times 365 all over 100. I can take out a 0 from the top and the bottom just to make smaller numbers. If you can see, I have 5 and 10 left over. So I can actually change this to a 1 and the 10 to a 2. And now when I multiply across the top, I have 365 over 2. And I know it's kind of going to be weird because the dollars is on one side. So when I divide 365 divided by 2, comes out to $182.50 per year. So if somebody got 50 cents a day, they would actually get $182.50 per year for allowance. Okay, so this is part 1 of section 3.4. Please watch part 2 next.